my friends welcome to my 200 3d CAD problems in free CAD today I want to work on exercise 14 in 14 I'll have to do a simple sketch and then I can do the same sketch again or offset it so uh, for 14 we will have to work on her design workbench even if it is for just a little bit because per design has this offsetting tool uh, that we can create from a shape binder sub object shape binder so uh, we will be using per design to some extent however one good thing is uh, that sub shape object binder can be used even in part workbench so that's one thing that's located in part design but can be used in part workbench nonetheless so this is 150 let me make that 50 percent i want to keep that on xy plane and i want to keep it at one of the corners here so that is our image processing done in the sketching I want to sketch on XY plane and real quick draw the outline so the drawing is done now let me put some constraints in it these two are equal these two are equal these two So are these. So this is 30 and these and this. These are all equal. So this is 30. Right? Now this and this should be equal. How about this? This is 45. Right? And this should be equal to all right so that was pretty fairly quick sketch and then because it's outside sketching i want to pull it up by 15. all right so select this sketch and pull it up by 15. now what i want to do is i want to offset that surface this surface inward by 4.5 millimeter and i can do that by using sub shape binder so select the face and select so i want to see where it comes so select sub object shape binder there it is so for these two it does not require part design uh, prerequisite of having a part uh, like create a body so we the binder thing can work outside the body i'm happy about that in the binder thing come to offsetting and then say we want to bring it back by minus 4.5 what it does is it takes everything and then pull it inward by 4.5 but look at this corner which does not match with our object we can fix that by going it says offset join type let's see what option we have say intersection yeah so that worked now we created the sub shape object binder with an offset inward by 4.5 what I want to do I want to extrude that by so 10.5 in the reverse direction so this will go inward now if I had this so this will go inward now we have two objects I can take this one I want to keep that and then I want to delete that part and hit cut so now we have our complete object pretty simple because the sub shape object binder is in part design I could start part design workbench to begin with but I just wanted to show you all when it comes to sub shape object binder it doesn't have to be part design only tool it can work in part workbench as well and i definitely am happy about that i hope you enjoyed this process i will see you in the next video thank you for watching